Hello, welcome to Cat's Cottage, and I'm today. I'm just going to show you what I'm up to. Uh, first off, I've made myself some soup for the day. Um, bring it down. Let y'all take a look. Okay, how does that look? I can get y'all on there. There we go. Now, what I got in there is whatever I can find out of the refrigerator. A little squash, a little okra. I found some uh, uh, broccoli, onion, some bacon, and I found two pieces of corn. And my tomatoes that I had blended from a garden that were in my refrigerator. Now I'm going to put that back. Look, that's got to cook pretty good while. Got to cook down. And I taste it once in a while to make sure it's got enough salt. Now it's on high and I'm cooking that. Okay. And I went out there this morning and I picked me a few. Um, tomatoes and I'm going to process these up here into the blender and so and I'll show you what I'm actually doing this morning going to do this morning in my room um, remember the bedspread that I bought at the Salvation Army yeah well um I didn't realize it had that much stains on it, and who knows, I might have bought it anyway. But uh, I uh, thought about making some pillow shams or bed skirt or whatever, but first I'm going to try to clean it a little and see if that'll work. And after I put this, I'm using um, a Clorox bleach stick, which... Uh, uh, I'm touching in these stained spots, see if they'll come up. Now what some ha somebody did was they, they tried to remove the stains and they didn't put it in a washer and they made water rings where they washed it by hand. And, um, but anyway, I've touched up this spot and there's my finger. It's gone. And this spot is food. Now I may have to go back over that again. And then I've, I've got on this, which I'm going to have to keep working on that. You know, these Clorox sticks have, are uh, kind of paste, have paste. They kind of have some paste on them. Yeah. And um, so I'm, and this was a little teeny spot of blood. And, um. may not come out it seems like it might just kind of work it and give it a few minutes and uh, what i'm going to do is not let it dry on its own what i'm going to do is put it in the washing machine and here we go again right here i've got some plastic up under this if you're wondering about that i've got some plastic right there and then this right here where is it there it, it seems I, I put a little on that earlier it seems as if somebody um ate got up on the bed and was eating these are food stains here and the other is a ink pen disaster which just uh they just couldn't get it out so i'm gonna sit this down a minute bring it on down Let's see, I'll get me another piece of plastic. I'm uh, tearing plastic right now to 
put it up under this. Don't want it to go through into this other uh, quilt that I've got on the bed. Okay. And then I'll put some right up under this. These are the two pieces I'm going to work on. Well, I've got, I got a bad one over there. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Uh, if you can see... Whoops, wrong end. <laughs> that end was closed up. See how it has a little... It looks like Elmer's glue. Okay, let me get another tube. All right. Yeah, I should have just went and got the new, got the new one out. Okay. Okay, and just let it sit and see how it's how it wants to work. Now this one, if I if I mess up the pink stitching. I'll get me some thread and go over that little spot. Okay, this one's pretty strong. Here's this one right here. Okay. Let me walk back around over here and take a look. See how this food is coming out right there. This was probably a young person's made for a young granddaughter or daughter. And um, they, uh, you know how young people get on their bed with their plates. Okay. And we'll come back. I, I think this is probably the worst one. And like I said, I, I can make some pillow shams or a bed skirt out of this, but I, I really don't want to. I mean, that was my intention on uh, some of those other quilts. I was going to make. Um, then I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait and find one. And um, don't be cutting nothing. Okay. And again, here's this blood spot. Okay. This thing has some little uh, teeth on the end of it where you can supposedly, like, scrub it in. But uh, that's that really a teeny tiny spot doesn't really bother me. It's just mostly that one, that one up top there that uh, looks like it does. And then you got this one down here. I'm not sure if this thing wasn't folded when that ink was dropped. And it just kind of soaked through, but or well, they walked with it, went over the bed, and it just dripped. It's not all the way through. That's one thing. It's not all the way through. So it must have went over the bedspread, and it dripped, or well, they laid the ink pen down. A marker, maybe one of those markers. These little old things usually start working. Uh, you know, they usually start working pretty fast. I hope these aren't too old. I've had them a while. Okay. 
Okay. Now let me let me make sure that I don't have one um, up top here. I'll come down a little bit more so we can get up top. I'm sorry, I'm so terrible with this camera. Okay, I don't I don't see anything. Okay. It's wide under there. Okay, that's laying on plastic. Okay, but that's about it from what I can tell. Uh, this one here is going to be the problem, I think. This is going to be the problem. <sighs> Up there. But it is near the edge, and if you wanted to make a bed with it, it would go under a pillow. So, that's one good thing about that. Now, I'm going to put my cap back on here. And you know, it has a little teeth, like little scrubbing teeth. Well, let's see which way it goes. Maybe it turns on. There we go. I hadn't used these in so long. All right. Well, okay. I think I'm going to leave that just for a touch. And then I'm going to wash it. I'm, I'm going to make sure that I wash it. Because all you get when you leave a cloth, rug, blanket, anything like that, uh, wet to dry and it will make rings. It'll make water rings, especially. And y'all know that on furniture. If you do that on furniture without completely forcing it to dry, you have to force that stuff to dry or it will leave a ring. Well, okay. That's what I'm up to today. And uh, I hope y'all are having a good day. So, now, uh, I just want to say bye. And that's what I've been up to. Um, and I'll talk to you later on. Bye-bye.